no access point. Well guys, welcome back to another episode of Fishing New Waters. Today's gonna be extra special. Not because I don't quite see the water yet, but because we're fishing a very particular spot that I'm super excited for. But first things first, let's try to make it down to the water. And I actually see some movement right over yonder. Try to walk through here. Hopefully my waders don't get shredded. This is a trail. Look at this. There's actually a little trail in this spot. And that is the river that we need to cross in order to get to our destination. I'm going to need to find somewhere to cross. The bad news is I have no clue how deep it is in the middle. So this is what we're dealing with. Hmm. Good current flowing. We'll figure it out. Don't you guys worry. Let's get started on this adventure. <sighs> we got to get down there. Whew. Ah, easy does it. One false step. Ah, now I'm looking at a few broken bones. Stay sideways, make sure your footing's good, and slowly progress down the hill. No, that's too many thorns. Let's go this way. All right, almost at the water. Ooh, oh, don't fall in the thorns. My waders are toast. Oh, nice. There it is. That is the creek we're trying to get into. And my line is stuck. Step bro, okay. That is a eight, mm, six, six to eight foot drop. I think we can manage this one, perhaps. Okay, oh, let's get on our butt. Oh man, this jump's a little sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, you guys probably can't tell from the uh, camera angle, but uh, I'm gonna try to hold on to this branch and pray that it supports my weight. Oh gosh, put the rod down for a second. All right, here we go. Footing, footing, footing. Okay, okay. Woo! We made it. This, oh dang, that looks pretty good over there. We're supposed to fish in there, but let's just check over there out super quick. You guys already know, Sundays are for football, friends, food, and DraftKings Sportsbook. That's right, I'm partnering up with DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, to share an incredible offer with all of you. New customers, sign up using promo code OneRod, bet $5 on the big game, and you'll instantly get $200 in bonus bets deposited into your account. Plus, with same game parlays, you can combine multiple bets from the same game to give yourself a shot at even bigger winnings all season long. And for those of you in a state where sports betting is not yet available, don't forget about DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they've been innovating even more ways to win some cash this football season. Be sure to download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. New customers use promo code OneRod and receive $200 after placing a $5 big game football wager. That's promo code OneRod only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Number one, yes, I knew it. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. What do we have here? Smashed my mini zinger. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, is that large? It's not even that big. A oh, smallie. These river smallies are literally. I thought this was. A I'm not even kidding, guys. I thought this was gonna be like a two plus pounder. Woo! Beautiful fish number one to kick things off. Had to go with orange, it's fall. They're gonna be chomping on crawfish, fattening up for winter. And we are rewarded with our first fish of the day, my friends. There you are. Beautiful Creek Smarly. They're not huge, but I'm telling you guys, they fight like absolute beasts. And if you're using lighter spinning gear, 
even more fun. <sighs> nice markings. Let you go, my little friend. Thank you for eating my spinner bait. Woo! Little goodbye. We have confirmed fish in this area. What we did is we fished downstream from our target. The current flows around, comes along this channel right here. So I was fishing right in the channel. That's where that fish was feeding. It's probably facing upriver. And as my spinnerbait came across, bam, nailed it. So we'll make a few more casts, but then we're gonna go ahead and go up that way. And I'll tell you guys why I'm fishing here. That's another one. All right, this one's small. Woo, nice little jump. I could tell this one was small when it hit. But hey, anytime you guys fish somewhere you've never been, if you're catching fish, you're doing a good job. This is literally two casts after that last one. This one's sport sized. That other one was pretty solid for fishing a creek. This type of fish just makes you happy that uh, you're avoiding the skunk. See you, little guy. Well. Looks like they're hitting the moving baits, which is good. Got the right color, gold blades in a cloudy day. Quarter of an ounce, downsizing a little bit since we're fishing a creek after all, it's very shallow. Might as well make a few more casts. That's the fish, there's number three. Oh yeah, I can't move very much guys. We are literally, oh he got off. Ooh, I think I got another. Oh, he's back on. That can't be the same fish. Oh yeah, that's a little better one. Oh, a nice jump. Dude, these guys fight so freaking hard. And if you guys look, I am in it to win it right now. We are about one inch from the water and my GoPro is not in waterproof mode. Ah, oh, whew, my face, baby, facial. Doing it for you guys, my friends. Woo, get that good audio going so you can hear. This beautiful fish fight. Another one falls victim to the mini zinger. <sighs> About a nine, 10 inch smallie. Fights like a freaking train though. Beautiful fish. Sharp gripper teeth. I don't know if they're feeding much on crawfish. Seems like it's more of a bait fish type day for these guys. Oh, either way, send you off. All right, you know what? We're less than one inch from the water, but we gotta somehow Make our way over here. I have a feeling there could be an absolute giant hanging by these rocks. Oh my God. Oh, I got bit. I just got smacked. My handle's literally touching the water as I'm reeling. This is crazy. Come on, baby. One big one. I know you're over there. Oh, came up for it. I saw some minnows getting chased and there was actually I think this is a fish I was chasing him. This one was half decent. Not the monster I was looking for, but hey, another healthy Creek Smalley. Woo! Oh yeah. We've definitely found the fish, my guys. Now the question is, can we find the biggins? Every hook set, perfect side of the mouth. Woo, big tail for a little body. Make you extra fast in the water. Go get those minnows. Oh my, oh, this is a big one. That's the big one. That's the one. It's pulling drag. This is the one. This is the one I was waiting for, guys. Holy bajizo. That's the giant. That's the, gi that's the king of the creek right here. Come on, baby. Come to daddy. Oh yeah. You ain't breaking my, this guy definitely ain't breaking my Guggen Mono, but still let's play. Oh my gosh, it's bigger than I thought. <coughs> Take it to shallows. All right, stay on, stay on girl. Oh yes. Come on girl. Oh. Oh yes. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, woo! Woo, that's a big old tail on her. Let's go, baby. Gosh, stop moving. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful. So freaking pretty. Okay. Okay. 
please, please. Okay, okay. Oh, stop. no, 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 no. Okay, calm down, girl. Calm down. Calm down. Yeah, let's go! Woo! This is the king of the creek, my friends. Oh my gosh, I had a hook. I had her hooked in two spots. Woo, you weren't going anywhere, buddy. Absolute beauty. Guys, this is what I'm talking about when I say these creek smallies are absolute beasts. This dude right here is about a little over a pound and a half, maybe pushing two pounds. Not huge by any means, but that fight was absolutely incredible. They're, I mean, these guys are fighting that current all day long, building those muscles, yet they're still finding enough food to be nice and fat like this. Amazing hunters. Some of my favorite fish to fish for. Let's let her go. Oh, won't let go of my finger. Oh, let's let you go, girl. Woo! Off she goes. Okay. Now it is time to show you guys why I'm here. We finally made it. Beyond that laydown is Linganore Creek. If you've been a channel, wait, if you've been a sub to my channel for a long time, that name should ring a bell. Right behind me is the Monocacy River. This is an area I've never fished before. It connects, well, we should say Linganore Creek feeds into the Monocacy River right here. And the goal for today was actually to just fish only Linganore Creek, but being at a new area I've never been to, had to throw a few casts in the, Mon in the Monocacy, and obviously it's paid off so far. But now we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna explore this creek right here. It's gonna be a lot thinner, uh, probably more shallow than the Monocacy, but hopefully I can catch some fish. And funny thing is, I fished Lake Linganore about, I don't know, five years or so, and it was absolutely crazy. An S-tier Karen, who watches all my videos somehow, may, compiled a very impressive list of every minor infraction I've ever committed while fishing, dating back to 10 years ago since I started filming YouTube videos. Anyways, we're gonna fish this creek all the way up to Lake Linganore. I'm gonna stay in the water Ain't no one kicking me out because you don't own the water, bro. Let's see what we're working with over here. Oh. Wow, this is real shallow. And there's a lot slower current compared to the Monocacy. That's not really ideal, but if we find some deep holes, I bet there'll be some fish in it. First things first, we've got to navigate beyond this lay down in our waders. Woo! Okay. All right. Oh, that's a crawfish and a minnow. That's a good sign. Got some bait over here. Huh. Okay. Woo! You know what? That kind of looks like a deep hole. Well, not a deep hole, but it does look like a hole. Wait, <laughs> that wasn't nothing come out right either. Let's see if there's any fish over here. All right, no bites, keep moving. Uh, how do I get down? Heck, that's a heck of a drop right here. Can we climb on the roots or do we go drop down right there? Uh, let's see what the roots look like. All right. Uh, that don't look too good. All right, let's go over here. All right, we can drop right here. This is all right. This shouldn't be too bad. Famous last words. Oh gosh. Woo, we made it. All right, we're through that mess, that's good. Good to go. Onwards to Lake Linganore. Oh, there's the one. What the heck do we have here? 
Oh, well, whatever that was is gone now. So I've switched baits, downsized further because, I mean, like, this is a very small creek. I'm now using the mini banger. Still using a nice orangey, yellowish crawfish type pattern since they were hitting that earlier. And also still using a reaction bait because we know they were liking that earlier as well. The strategy is essentially the same. We're fishing a reaction style bait along the creek channel, which is right there. You can see the movement. And, uh, you know, we'll see what lives in here. Ooh. Now this is looking more interesting. I was getting a little worried for a second that we weren't gonna find anything juicy. Oh yeah. Woo, balance check. You know something's gotta be hiding over here. Come on now. Oh yes, I freaking, I freaking called that one. Barely, I actually saw that fish come up from behind the rock and barely tagged my crankbait. If this was a spinnerbait, I would not have hooked this fish. Check this out, guys. Linganore bass number one. Gotcha. Smalley hooked him right on the beard. Look at that. Back treble. Not how you want them to eat it, but I am glad that I am using treble hooks. Because I got to catch this fish. There we go. Thank you, little guy. Pretty average, but... Can't complain about average, right? See ya. All right. Well, hopefully as we go up further and further, it starts looking juicier and juicier. Maybe we'll find another big one. This kind of looks like uh, the other spot I was fishing. He took it. Oh, that's a creek. Get it. Oh, he got off. Shoot. Oh, my. F that fish was as big as my big one on the river. I mean, look where I'm fishing, guys. This is a thin, narrow creek. And this spot actually looks exactly like the spot in the river where I caught the big one. Have the big rock slabs, the creek channel swinging right by it. It's deeper right here. So, of course... Ah, oh, it makes sense that fish was hanging right there. Oh, oh, another one. Oh, oh he got off. <laughs> Holy bejizo. Oh, a third one. <laughs> this was the tiniest of the three. Get in the boat. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I'm losing so many fish, guys, but oh, let me get them in between my legs. You ain't going nowhere once you trap down there, buddy. Woo! Look at this fish. Well, three in a row. This spot's pretty fire, not gonna lie. Like I told you guys, on the river, find the areas that are likely to hold fish. I've walked like close to a mile, I think, and most of that water was completely dead, very shallow. This is the best thing I've seen, and I've got three bites in a row. There ain't much to it, but to explore, find a good spot, and do it. Unfortunately, the end of this creek is a lot farther than I expected. And I'm meeting a sub in 45 minutes to fish a private golf course. Should be pretty fire. These conditions are beautiful today. But before we sign out, let me go ahead and give you the ratings. I'm gonna combine both spots together. I fished the Monocacy River and Linganore Creek. Number one, accessibility, not good. Parking was very difficult and getting down to the river was difficult. I'm gonna give it three out of 10. Safety, the river was clear, mostly hard bottom, really not many issues at all. Nine out of 10 for safety. Scenery, it is gorgeous out here. Wading out in nature, good stuff. 9.5 out of 10. Fishing action, didn't take long for me to start getting bites. Got a lot of bites today. I'm gonna have to give it nine and a half out of 10, very solid. Finally, quality of fish or the size of the fish had a lot of small ones but also had a couple really nice ones and we're fishing a river and creek so you can't expect mondos and we're fishing on foot as well so not covering as much water as we could 
Gonna give it, uh, gonna give it eight out of 10. Finally, miscellaneous. I'm not gonna add any points today. The river conditions were beautiful. The weather is beautiful. Essentially perfect fishing conditions. So this is the total right here. Make sure you guys pick up Guga Squad Reel, Rod, anything else that you guys need, hoodie, shirt, etc. Use my promo code OneRod. It'll help support my channel and I truly appreciate it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and look out for another installment of Fishing New Waters to come very soon. Peace.